Greetings. It is I, the Corporate Butt Rock Reviewer. It appears that my services have been requested to review Lincoln Park's classic, Crawling. Now, traditionally, our culture perceives classical music as the epitome of what music must be. And though my knowledge of it is extremely limited, I must confess, being the corporate butt rock reviewer, it is not my forte. I know I can't disagree with those maestros from a technical standpoint. Classical composers are the greatest, most innovative, knowledgeable, at the craft of manipulating sound and silence to, in turn, manipulate human sensation and perception. However... Classical music is not simply an act of nostalgia or memory recollection, as it were, would be. Rather, the music is capable of both enhancing previously experienced and theorized emotions, and even creating new, original, and unique instances of such things. Whether the person in the role of the sensor or perceiver has sat in the captain's seat, quote-unquote, as one may put it, the man, woman, child, or other. Experiencing the breakup, the death, the tragic fall from the stars, or perhaps the falling in love, the birth, the rebirth, the ascension. It is my judgment that Lincoln Park's Crawl is a happy medium between traditional rock and roll socio musical norms and what we, our relatives, and our ancestors have turned to Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven to for experiential. Even novel humanistic experience. I know that some simply hear the shrill screaming, the crying out for help, as it were, and interpret it as juvenile, a grown man pouting as if he were a child. Now, this is not what I believe crawling is about, and I find interpreting it in such a manner to be crude and a monumental disservice to the scope of the work itself. Rather, I believe it to be representative of a new experience of sorts. It's so dominant and simultaneously submissive. Submissive. That all the narrator can sensibly communicate to us is his need to escape his wounds, or the pressure instantiating these wounds, presumably the emotional scars. He cites a lack of self-control and something pulling him beneath the surface. Another voice, whether it's him, a reinterpretation of himself, who's to say, joins in to name pressure and lack of confidence as either triggers or symptoms of the enemy him, her, or perhaps itself is. What's telling is that he isn't calling out to you, me, or even the good Lord himself, despite the fact that he's sensing so much pain and perceiving an awesome lack of self-esteem. And though he's scared, and as scared as scared can be, he's obviously not hopeless, and he's obviously calling out to... He. Himself. If he was hopeless, he wouldn't scream, he wouldn't be asking for an answer. And though people can sense what they are thinking and feeling without even whispering to themselves, we find the man screaming at himself, with a friend, perhaps a voice of another personality of sorts within him, shrieking out... It's a surface paradox to beg for communication, an answer, guidance, a reliever of crippling stress. Things that are known to drive a person delirious and incapable of controlling themselves. Yet, only he can prevent his own demise, or seemingly an eternal damnation. Now we never learn what happens in Lincoln Park's crawl. The song quiets out, goes to silence, as all songs do, and we're left without resolution. Consider the Beatles for no one, and how it loops on itself to represent the seemingly eternal suffering of domestic neglect and apathy. The concept is similar. Now that is my The Corporate Butt Rock Reviewer's Rating. But perhaps the more precise term would be Understanding. Of course, nothing is provable, and by God's will, we live in a universe as like a cardboard box, in the sense that we simply wish to acknowledge what we know we can perceive, or what others we know can perceive. What we have difficulty understanding is that there may be thoughts, feelings, ideas that we simply cannot wrap our human heads around. 
Thank you for listening. This is the Corporate Butt Rock Reviewer, signing out. Peace be with you. <laughs>